Today, we have just arrived in India. <laughs> India is the hub of culture, vibrance, flavor, food. It is just insane. And the most incredible people. <laughs> so I cannot wait to see what this country is all about. This is crazy. <laughs> Welcome to India. Hello, hello. Hello, Namaste. What's your name? My name is Nate Mohammed. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. Welcome nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Bye bye. Goodbye. Bye. Have a good day. Meow. He's meowing. <laughs> He's a bird. Are you a bird? I like him. I, I like, like him too. Like him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I like him. Hello. Hello. Namaste. 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 What is this? What is the name? What is the name? What is the name? Spicy? A little bit spicy. It's good? Not so good. Okay, they say it's not so good. India is the seventh largest country in the world, the second most populated. And of course, the Indian food is probably the most widespread cuisine and the most popular cuisine in the world. And that's why we came to India. I can't believe I'm saying that we're already in India and we are starting right here in the capital of New Delhi. Apparently, there are over 30 million people living in Delhi and there are completely different sides to it. And that is what we want to explore today. So we've come to the old side of Delhi and we've come to one of the oldest bazaars in Asia. Asia. And that is Channi Chok. Chok means an area where markets are, and I think it's a perfect place to kickstart our India trip. <laughs> Oh, no, thank you. We're just going to walk. <laughs> we no, like no, to walk. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Find a India cricket shirt. Cricket? This way. Okay. I will go and find one. Not here. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. He's been following us for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> Look at this. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Rubbery. Rubbery. It's Faluda? This is Faluda. Oh, okay. I can try it. You can see here, there is this huge bowl of it. Looks like some almonds on top. Oh, it's so good. Kind of like a, like lassi? Like lassi? Ah, should I have paluda or lassi? Both of you, lassi and paluda. This is rubbery and this is paluda. So you say rubbery? Yeah, 50 rupees per glass. 60 rupees for yeah. paluda. Yeah. What do you recommend? Yeah, this is only made for milk, cow milk and ah. buffalo milk. Cow milk, yeah. okay. And paluda, how yeah, do you paluda. make it? These noodles. Ah, like noodles. Milk and noodles yeah. inside the faluda. Yeah. Let's get a faluda. One? Can I have one faluda? Oh wow, what is that? What is that? And a red syrup on top. Then he mixes it up. Thank you so much. Wow, this is just like a concoction of everything. So we got the red syrup on top. He's now mixed the noodles and the almonds. Hello, nice to meet you. You from Delhi? Delhi. Okay. Job is around. Oh, your job is here? Ah, oh, okay. Nice to meet you. Hello. Namaste. Something's happening, but everyone seems to be enjoying it. First time ever trying a faluda. We've had a lassi in Nepal, but this is completely different because it's got like these noodles in. Let's give it a go. Oh, I like it. It's really, really sweet. So the noodles are like a sweet dessert, thick, creamy, milky flavor. Even though this is so small, I don't even know if I'll finish it, it's so sweet. Oh, hey! You sneeze. Hello, namaste. Uh, do you have an India cricket shirt? Where can I go, up this way? This side, Gurdwara opposites. Opposite, next street? Okay, okay, thank you so much. Thank you. So one thing I really want to get, and it's one of the reasons we came to Chani Chok Market, is I want to get an Indian cricket shirt. Of course, in India, they are mad about cricket, but we're from South Africa, so we're mad about cricket too. And to get an Indian cricket shirt 
for me would be extra special. So we're on the hunt. Also, you heard that right. We are both from South Africa. This is my very, very first time in India. And I'm actually a fourth generation South African Indian, which means that my mother and grandmother were both born in South Africa and have never been to India. So I think me coming here is pretty special. This is such a vibrant and exciting place to be. I mean, the people are so engaging. You kind of just want to chat to everyone. Hello. Hello, lady. Oh, she's touching me. <sighs> well, I've wanted to chat about this for a long time. After watching this video back, I don't know if you've noticed it, but my mental health was probably at the lowest it's ever been. If you continue to watch this video, I'm sure you'll see why. After we had this crazy travel experience, I'll call it that, so many of you guys have reached out to us and told us about a similar experience that you've had. Just by chatting to somebody, it really helped me feel better and it made me feel like I wasn't alone. And since that conversation, I wanted to point out how important your mental health is. It's just as important as your physical health. And that's why we wanted to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Therapy is something we feel so strongly about. And BetterHelp is the world's largest online therapy service, offering licensed therapy with over 30,000 therapists, making it convenient for you to access the help you may need that you might not have in your local area. All you have to do is fill out a quick survey and BetterHelp will match you with a therapist in under 48 hours. The best part is, is you you can start communicating with your therapist right away, whether it's a video call, a normal phone call, or via text message. If it's not the right fit, you can change your therapist at no additional cost. Prioritizing your mental health is so important. Even whilst you're traveling, you realize that more than you think you would. If you want to try online therapy, we highly recommend giving BetterHelp a try. And if you use our code SHEVENDEV, you can get 10% off your first therapy session. Or just click the link below. That's betterhelp.com forward slash SHEVENDEV. That's better, H-E-L-P. This is one of the largest wholesale markets in the whole of Asia. You can find spices, dresses, clothes, shoes, food. There are no motorized vehicles allowed in here. That's why there are all these rickshaws and bicycles around. You made some samosas. They look so fresh and ginormous. So I think we're going to have to try one. Uh, ketna bai. Ketna? Uh, how much? Can I try one samosa? Uh, 25 rupees, one piece. Okay, can I try one? Uh, one. Yes. So what is he making here? What is this? It's fried bread. Fried bread. Oh, oh, wow. It's like a big bowl. And it is massive. He's actually making it like a flat bread and then throwing it in and it's becoming this giant bowl. Look, I got my samosa. It's got some sauce on the side here. It was 25 rupees for the samosa. Let me pay over here. Namaste. Can I pay? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. There's actually a place you can sit over here. Look how big it is. And you've got all the sauce underneath it. First samosa in India. It's actually boiling hot. I can hardly hold it. Oh, wow. I've just realized that a samosa in India is on a whole other level. Do you think you've had a samosa, you know what it's like? When it's made here in India, everything else just doesn't compare. The crispiness on the outside, but they still get it soft on the inside. And it's absolutely jam-packed with veg. I see I've got some peas, I've got some potato in there. Every samosa I've ever had just doesn't even come close. The hooting is crazy. There's so many types of transportation, motorbikes, rickshaws. There's some tuk-tuks down there. Hello. There are literally like no gaps to walk. You seriously have to watch yourself because they do not really care about the pedestrians. You always have to be like on your feet, watch where you're going. There's always someone <laughs> with a bike or a tuk-tuk or a rickshaw, but I love it. I love the energy here that we're getting. Hello. Namaste. I don't wow. think the hooting <laughs> is in an angry way. I actually think hello. it's... Hello. I don't think the hooting's in an angry way. I actually think it's to just say, I'm here, hey, I'm here. If we could explain to you the amount of chaos and everything. You've got salesmen, you've got rickshaws, you've got literally everything. It is such a vibe. I can't believe where I am right now. Sunny. Nice to meet you. I'm Shane. Have a good day. Bye. Oh, 
wow, I'm enjoying my first day in Delhi. I actually can't believe I'm here. It's evident as soon as you arrive just how much history is here. So we're going to make our way through the market to see some of the old historical sites. So we're going to take this bicycle here. What is your name? Sadiq. Sadiq, nice to meet you. Perfect, thank you. Choose, okay. choose here, okay. Let's go. South Africa. Same. South Africa. So we're going the wrong way down the road. That's how we're sliding off our trip today. <laughs> In case you didn't realize, this is our very first time, our very first second in Delhi. I mean, I'm fully overwhelmed right now. <laughs> Salim's taking care Diana of us. Good quality High quality rickshaw driver. <laughs> happy, happy rickshaw driver. This is unbelievable. I'm overwhelmed, but I'm having the best time. Salim, you have to be so strong, You're strong. to do this. It's, it's hard work. Hard work. <laughs> Salim and I are having the best time. He's on his phone while we're <laughs> in the traffic. Okay. Ah, yes. <laughs> Hey. Thank you so much. This is while we're on the road, by the way. There's, yeah, we're still on the road. There's a giant bus behind us. <laughs> Salim's still on his phone. <laughs> Got a giant bus behind us. No worries, sorry. Oh no. Oh my gosh. What have we got ourselves into? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa. What is happening? Very good. good. We are good. Very good. We are happy. The first impact that hits you straight in the face. Just the amount of energy, amount of people, and every type, Hello. every form of transport you can imagine. You're still on the phone. <laughs> Just for a little bit? Okay. Okay? Then you can sit here. You can have a rest. So I've asked Salim very kindly if he will let me try and drive this rickshaw because he works so hard. Let's give him a break. You gonna sit here? Okay. okay. You can have a rest. First day in India, let's go. What is happening right now? Okay, okay. okay. Oh, it's so hard, Salim. Salim's on the phone. <laughs> oh, it's so hard. Can I give you guys a tour? Yeah. We got a temple over here. This is Chandni Chowk Market. Lots of people. Hello, Namaste. Yeah. Go more? Oh, okay. This is crazy. <laughs> wow, very good. <laughs> good fellow, he's a good driver. That was it. That was amazing. If you had to do that all day, you'd have to be really strong and fit. Thank you for letting me try. Okay, I'm finished. I'm tired for today. You, <laughs> I got cheered on the whole way. <laughs> I can't believe you took that. The guy that sounded like a bird. What a guy. What a guy. Thank you so much, Salim. Thank you. Thank you. you were so good. <laughs> you were the best. So where we want to go is across this main busy street. So we're going to try and cross this road. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You can hardly see it just because there's so much traffic. Look how many tuk-tuks there are. It is just insane. The amount of activity going on. Which was like, this is going to be crazy. Namaste. <laughs> Now, we're just at one of the most beautiful places in the entire world, which is the Red Fort. 
It's one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites, which was actually built in 1638 and served as the main residence for the Mughal emperors. This was constructed when the capital moved from Agra to Delhi, and it was made by the same person who built the Taj Mahal. The red fort was originally white, but due to the paint chipping away, it was actually painted red by the British government. So the red fort is now red. Wow, this is so beautiful. I can't believe India looks like this. I think we're already seeing that there are so many different sides to Delhi. And now we're going to find a tuk-tuk or something to take us to a different side of the city. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Uh, we want to go Jama Masjid. Okay. How much? 50 rupees. 50 rupees. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Tanya Bad. Ooh, okay, let's go. We're going to the Jama Mosque, which is one of the must-sees here in India. And this lovely gentleman is going to take us there. These tuk-tuks normally cost around 50 rupees if you're going to a short distance, or 100 rupees if you're going into the city center. My name is Dev. Okay, nice, yeah. to meet you. nice to meet you. There's so much traffic. Yeah, this road is very traffic. Lots of every day. Every day traffic. Every day. Yeah, this is crowded area. Oh, okay, crowded area. Yeah, you know, Jama Majid, Red Fort, Chandni Chowk. Oh. This is very crowded. Yes. And traffic, heavy traffic. Every day. Yeah. It's crazy. It always seems like there are no rules. Also, it's green for us right now, so we should be going. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Namaste. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Guys, helping us. That was kind. He's stopping the traffic for us. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so sweet. Where are you from? Uh, South Africa. South Africa. Dev. Sajid. Sajid. Go inside. Big pocket. Be careful. Maybe take rickshaw. You know the bicycle. Ah uh, yes. Okay. okay. Thank See you. you thank you. See you later. That's good advice. So because we're going into the mosque. We obviously need to keep our legs and shoulders covered. We have just arrived at Jama Masjid, which is one of the most iconic mosques here in Old Delhi. So we're going to go inside and check the beauty and a different side again here in Delhi. Taking off my shoes? Let's go eat. So, so entry ticket for foreigners? 300? 300. Okay. I have to put on a little shawl. What do you call this? It's covered. Ah, a cover. Okay. Because I'm a lady and I can't yeah, show my yeah. arms. Yeah. You Does look so good. good. Does it look good? He says yes. <laughs> I'm in shorts. I need to have my legs covered, so that's why I also get one. Let me see one hundred percent. Hello. Yes. Here you go. You can scan, scan the back. You can scan. Bye. Hi. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. 300 rupees each for us to enter, and then because we got this, it's an extra 50 rupees each. Let me take my socks off. Your white socks? Your mom would kill you. My mom would be horrified if I walked around with white socks. Oh my gosh, look at where we are right now. This is just unbelievable. We're actually just walking around and admiring the beautiful architecture of this place. I mean, I can't believe how massive this place is. Apparently, this is the largest mosque here in the whole of India. And there are three different gates surrounding this big courtyard. But the size of it is absolutely incredible. Quite amazing how so many people come here to worship and actually just to admire the beautiful mosque. <laughs> You can see some of the people have actually come here to wash themselves in the holy water. You can see them brushing their teeth, washing their feet, gargling their mouths. And it's actually because this water is seen as holy water. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. I want to go to Connaught Place. Uh, how much? Kitna? 100. 100. Yeah. Acha, acha. Chalo, chalo. <laughs> okay, let's go. Right now we're going to Connell Place, which is actually the center of Delhi. Kind of the upmarket business district of Delhi. So we're going to see a different side to where we've just been.
there is a rich colonial style buildings in this area and this is like the business hub and business district that's why we wanted to come here you can see there's even a marks and spencer there's apparently it's one of the most expensive commercial markets in the entire world apparently just to rent one square meter is about one and a half thousand dollars this is perfect thank you Thank you, Tanya Bhatt. Where are you from, my dude? South Africa. I hope you like it. Yes. yes, we like it a lot. So how long is the Delhi? Two I've, more days. Two more days in Delhi. <laughs> Matura. Matra. Yes. Vindravan. Yes, Vindravan yes. for Holi. Nice Holi, no? Nice Holi. Yes. yes. Holi. Thank you so much. Bye. Have a good day. Good video making, eh? Ah, for you. We are making the video for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What is your name? My name is Raj. Raj. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sir. You're from Delhi? I'm from Delhi. Oh, okay. This is a nice area. This is Kanot Place, one of the beautiful parts of Delhi. It is beautiful here. Very, very nice. Good for business. Good for business. Yeah. Nice, nice to meet you. You, you too. Bye-bye. We were already realizing in this area, it's so much quieter, it's peaceful, it's not as crowded. Look at the style of businesses and shops compared to where we just were in the market. Whoa, look at this. Look, that's an H&M. There's a Hamleys. There's a Hamleys. Thank you, guys. <laughs> oh, okay. Can you hear that? Oh wait, no, me neither. There is no hooting, no beeping, no honking. And all of these buildings are like colonial style architecture from, I think, the 1920s when the British government were here. And it was actually a place where they stayed and no Indians were actually allowed to live in this place. Now that is completely different. There's so many high-end shops like Hamleys, H&M. I mean, I'm totally surprised by what I've just witnessed five minutes ago versus to now. We just had a very delicious drink at Chai Point, which is so interesting because of course they have cafes, but they have loads of these chai cafes where you can just get unlimited chai for, I think it's around a hundred rupees. So after we explored Connaught Place, we asked someone where we can get an Indian cricket shirt and they said there's an underground market which we have just come to called Kalika Bazaar. So we're going to walk around here and hopefully I can find a cricket shirt because I didn't have any luck in Chandni So hopefully... Namaste! Namaste! Kaisi Namaste! 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 So hopefully I can find one here. Let's see if I can get a good price. There's one. Oh, it is too small. <laughs> oh no, wait. I tried to put it on without doing the buttons. We are from South Africa. South Africa, very nice team, also. Every day, I'm a big fan. Ah, <laughs> yes. yes. India is a good team. They give us a hard time. Yeah. <laughs> Who's better? Good point. <laughs> he can't say South Africa is better. How much for this? I give a good price for you. What is the best price? Because we are from South Africa, so we need the best price. See this. This is actually two triple nine. I give you 40 space and 40% discount. No 30%, only 1799. Seven oh, no, no, no. This is good quality. This is good quality. I have one. See this. If you want cheaper one, see this. How much this one? This is this one. This is quality, but this is not. This is old, old jersey. How much is this one? This I give only like 1000. No, I don't want but to this spend good that much. Nice quality. It's outside, good. It's a good shirt. Outside I, like I this don't price. Want to spend that much. I, I want to just spend less than 1000. This is good quality. <laughs> I know. It's, it's you give me good price, I give you how much you give good price. Less than 1000. You give one price. Okay. No, no, it's too much. Okay, how much you get for thousand dollars? Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Less than like thousand. You give, you no, give no, one too. No, 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 no. One thousand. I only say I'm telling you. This good quality. No, I, I know it's a good. I it's just a good make shirt. customers for you. Good, good. It's price. a good shirt, but I didn't want to spend that much. You give eleven. No, 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 no. no. Okay, okay, how much last for you? How much? 
Eight hundred. Best, best, best price. One thousand. Best price for you. So our Indian audience is going to have to let us know if we paid a good yes. price. The South Africans are not going to be happy that I bought <laughs> an Indian cricket shirt. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much Thank for coming. Yeah, yeah, subscribe. Yeah, definitely. You subscribe. Yes. Yes. Everybody yes. go subscribe. Okay. Thank you so much. What's your name? Thank you. My name is Asad Khan. Nice to meet you. Okay, so everybody must come support his business. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. No, thank you. No. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. We've met so many amazing people. I think this has been the perfect way to kickstart our the perfect way to kickstart our trip here in India. So please make sure to subscribe. Hello. Good morning from Mathura in India and yesterday we took a first class train from Delhi to here. It took about four hours and it was very convenient, very seamless and today we have arrived in the birthplace of Lord Krishna. Today is holy so we are going out and about, we're going to see what it's all about, we're going to get splashed with colour, we're going to meet some friendly locals. I think this has been one of our top things to do on our bucket list. So even at our hotel we can get splashed with colour. Namaste. Namaste. Happy holy. Happy holy. Happy holy. Happy holy. Happy holy. We've literally just walked outside our yeah, hotel. Yeah, we're still at our hotel. <laughs> Today is going to be the craziest thing we've ever done. Right now we're going to get a tuk-tuk on the street and we're going to go to one of the temples and see what the energy is like. Let's go! Happy Holy! <laughs> literally every single person is covered in colour. Look at this! Yay! Hello! Hello. How are you? Happy Holy! Happy Holy! Happy Holy! Happy Holy! Happy Holy! Happy holy. Bye bye!
another celebrity here. something we wanted to do but I don't think we had any idea what we were getting ourselves into we've been on one street I thought I would end up like this at the end of the day it's only been half an hour yeah they go they like chef are you okay they've got buckets of paint they got powdered paint, wet paint. They're throwing it from, they're throwing it from the balconies. Happy Holy! 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 Okay, I think we're coming up to something crazy. I can hear the music. People are going mad. <laughs>
everybody has like the whole day it's midday and people's energy is so high oh my gosh and i'm sure it's like this the whole day i can't believe we are so lucky enough to be here in india and we get to experience this it's just like a once in a lifetime experience Thank you so much. <laughs> Happy Holi. Thank you. Happy Holi. Happy Holi, my brother. Happy Holi. There's actually people up there. They're throwing balls up there. We need to run. <laughs> This is what we're walking in right now. It's completely drenched. Okay, so here is the temple. That's why there are so many people coming in and out. <laughs> it is crazy. I am with YouTube subscribers. Everybody's shoes outside. I have no idea how you would find your shoes in here. I cannot see a thing right now. I don't even know what color I am. I think I'm. I'm a rainbow. <laughs> this is like but I'm so grateful that we get to be here today there is actually a river that is formed because so much water has been poured so we made our way down to the river so it's a little bit quiet so we can have some respite so Matura is built right up on the Yamna River which is very sacred and very special so we get to see whole different sides of Matura halfway through our holy festivities. We need to come and have a break because it's just so relentless and crazy. Happy holy. Happy holy. Uh, Everybody's so friendly. South Africa. South Africa. <laughs> We've loved meeting all the locals today. We met so many amazing people, had so much fun. Everybody's so friendly. You can see there are boat rides that you can take all along the river and it's just beautiful the way that the city is built literally all the way up until this river wow what a day we're having i don't even want to know what we look like right now we're going to look but back at this footage and we're going to be scared do you think this is going to come off i don't think so this is us for the next this is the oh, color oh my of gosh. my this is the color of my skin it's not coming it's off. stained my skin so this is us for the next week hopefully we change color by the time you see the next video single person <laughs> we are so lucky to be here and it just it feels crazy that every single person is covered in paint like if you saw one of these people on an average day it would look crazy but every single one is just covered and there's just the sense of unity like we're all here to celebrate and everybody's happy joyous also because Matura is so special and it's the birthplace of Krishna and this is where Holi is most celebrated. Wow! 
You don't even need to go to a special place. It's literally every single street. Happy holidays. Every street is just covered with people. It's a board that we're running from. Happy wow. Look at what you look like, my dude. I want to know what I look like right now. Oh my You're God. You're like a rainbow. You start pink on this side, it kind of ends green on this side. This is insane. <laughs> you just gotta take it. You just gotta take it. Embrace it. Be colorful. Be full of enthusiasm. That's what holy is about. You're gonna take us? Thank you for okay. how, how How old is he? He must be around 15 or 16. 15 yeah. or 16. Okay, thank young. you. He looks so young. Okay. Uh, 150. 150. Okay. He's asking for 150. 150. 150. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Thank you so much, sir. He helped us tell our driver, who's only about 15 years old, uh, where our hotel is, so we're gonna make our way back. We are bright and early here in Ranthambo and. Hello, we have a friend. So we've just checked out of our hotel and we're going to make our way to the train station. Do you have anything to say? So we're going to get a tuk-tuk to the train station and then we're making our way from Rantambo to the beautiful city of Jaipur. He's happy about it. Do we go there for the taxi? Okay, okay, we'll walk there. I don't think the taxi <laughs> comes here to the hotel, so we're gonna have to walk up this road to see if we can find a taxi to the train station. Me? Uh, yeah, you too. You'll watch. Okay. Do you have anything to say to the fans? Fans. <laughs> Point of the day, okay. Uh, we're on our way. <laughs> okay, bye bye. This is the situation. India is definitely not the place for rolly bags. Yeah. <laughs> that is. Namaste. We want to go to the train station. Okay. How much? No, only 100. 100. Okay. okay no, only 100. The hotel told us 100. Okay. To the train station. Okay. Okay, let's go. Put your bags in. train station looks like if you're curious. It's really quiet compared to the train station we went to in Delhi. Now we're going to just find our train. We're about an hour and a half early. I think because we're just super eager to go to Jaipur. Good morning, so we have to find our platform which I don't think will be too difficult because this train station is definitely not as big as Delhi. <laughs> So since we're waiting for about an hour here at the station, I thought I'd get us a snack. There's all these little carts over here selling some chips. What else do we have? We've got some peanuts. We got some juice. Some biscuits. Namaste. Hello. Um, can I have? What is this? Ten rupees. Ten rupees. 
for like a butter biscuit. And this, what is this? Choco checkers. How much is this one? 10 rupees. 10 rupees. Can I have one of these? And let's see what we have here. Can I have one of these ones? This one? 20, rupees. 20 rupees. And this one's 10. Okay, so 30 rupees for some choco checkers and some chips. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. We got some chips and a few biscuits. So we got something to eat on the train. May I have your attention please? Train number 12904 Golden Temple Mail from Amritsar to Mumbai Central via Kota Ratlam. We're trying to find our train. I think it's running late, about 15 minutes late. So let's see what happens. So we need to actually catch you up on what we've been doing because the last time you saw us we were in Agra We have woken up at the crack of dawn to go and see the Taj Mahal and I'm so excited about it We're gonna head into the main street now to see if we can get a tuk-tuk there. Luckily, we live very very close It's only a five minute drive away Taj Mahal is actually a 17 hectare complex so this is already technically the start so we have to walk all the way down this long strip just to get there. It's so quiet but yet I've got so much energy. I need to give We got our shoe covers because you're not allowed to walk around with your normal shoes in the Taj Mahal and we got some water. We were very smart because we bought our tickets online so we got to skip the queue. So we just go straight in and luckily it's it's not too busy because nobody's awake. So many people have brought up really early and it's quite a long way to get through just to the entrance. So it's kind of like a build up more excitement just to get in. Oh my gosh, I'm blown away. And we're not even there yet. So we have just arrived at the Taj Mahal, but we are at the east entrance, so we haven't even gone into the main complex yet. There are so many people that have come out early morning. It's only 7 in the morning right now. This is insane. This is just the gate. I feel like after years and years of seeing the Taj Mahal on billboards and internet and magazines and things like that, I never ever thought we would be stepping and going right into it to see it face to face. I mean, that is just like... Unbelievable. I feel like I've lost the words. Look behind me. I just, I can't actually believe that we are here right now. I feel so lucky to see one of the seven wonders of the world right here. I never ever thought I would visit this beautiful monument. You can see as many photos, you can look at it on the internet, but it doesn't even come close to seeing it in person. It's absolutely magnificent. It is beautiful and I can totally see why this is the jewel of India. The Taj Mahal is built right on the Yamna River and it's actually a mausoleum, meaning that it's built around a tomb. So the Mughal emperor who built this monument as a tomb, he actually built this for his favorite wife who died during the birth of her 14th child. This glorious monument took over 22 years to build, over 22,000 workers and over a thousand elephants. It is symmetrical on each side so each side of the Taj Mahal looks completely identical. I think we also just can't believe how big it is. We read that it was 73 meters high but when you see it in person is just absolutely mind-blowing and apparently in today's times it would have cost about one billion dollars and it brings in about six million tourists every single year which is about a hundred thousand people a day and we can see it there are so many people coming here everyone's taking photos We're just walking around the complex at the moment before we actually go into the mausoleum. Look how tall the Taj Mahal is. I think this is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. And I know so many people say, this is not it for India. There's so much more to see than India. I completely agree. But if you don't come and see the Taj Mahal, you're doing yourself a disservice because it is absolutely stunning. Now we're gonna make our way into the main mausoleum. We're now get to see what it's like inside. This is 
is so cool. Oh my God, I can't ah. believe we're going inside. The attention to detail, you can see why it took 22 years and 22,000 people to make this. And they have a rule, you have to look super fashionable when you enter. Very trendy. Look at my cool shoe cover. So we can't actually walk on the center part of the mausoleum. We have to walk on the edges all the way around. I don't think you're allowed to take any photos while you're inside. I actually can't believe the amount of intricacy and detail of the Taj Mahal. You can see all these tiny little details that actually make up the big picture of the Taj Mahal. So we've just made our way through the mausoleum and inside it's absolutely stunning. We cannot take any photos or videos to show you, but the intricate detail on the inside is amazing. And you can actually see the tombs of the Mughal and his wife. I'm just gonna have one last long look at the beautiful Taj Mahal behind me. What an experience we've had here. I'm so, so glad and I think we feel so lucky to come and visit this beautiful monument. Okay, on to the next one. We actually traveled to Ranthambo for two days to go on a tiger safari, which was a very, very big disappointment because we did not see any tigers actually we didn't see anything at all we felt like it was a bit um uneventful to film random ball was yeah definitely not exciting now we are actually catching a train to jaipur which we've heard many 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 good things about i'm actually quite excited to check out this train experience and we're going in first class so mm. i actually can't wait to see what this train journey is going to be like Okay, I think this is our train. Our train was over 50 minutes late. So that's a little bit of a shock to us because we've taken trains in Korea and Thailand that are on the dot, literally on time, like to the minute. So this is quite a interesting <laughs> experience. Let's go find our seat and then we'll give you a tour of what it looks like inside. Okay, let's see what this looks like. They're all in Hindi, so I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I should open one. These are all closed. How do I know? Okay, 13. There's a person in there. We're looking for, I think, 18. Oh, I think it's the Oh, thank you. Do I see the number? Oh, four. Sorry. I think this is ours, which it looks like somebody has already slept here. Or still sleeping. Or still <laughs> sleeping here. But I think it's a private room. So that's a bonus. I think this is ours. <laughs> Sorry, whoever's sleeping here. Yeah, this is definitely our room. There was some... That's fine, that's fine. There is no luggage over here? No, no, no. So you can uh, call the attendant and they will clean it. Okay. 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 Thank you so much. Perfect. So I thought I'd just tell you a little bit of what we have in our first class cabin. We've got two beds and I think this one rolls up because it's daytime. But we've got a fully working air conditioner, we've got plugs on the side, we've got a bell if, in case we want to ring the assistant, we've got a mirror, we've got a little rack to put a little bit of our luggage or if we want to put the pillows and stuff there. That looks like a speaker. So we can turn the volume up and down if we like. It's actually perfect. We have a nice window, we have a little like desk area, a little table. So we've got two beds, we've got some bedding already, so that's a win. So far so good. I'm Kind of looking forward to the journey. Let me close this door. It even locks. That's cool. I hope this is ours. I think it is. I think it's ours. I don't know. Let's look at the view. Very good, a very nice window here. It's very clear, so we can see what's going on outside. I'm just super, super happy that we get to try out the first class. And luckily, as Devin said, it's only two and a half hours. So I think the journey is going to be very seamless. We're moving. I think we're going. Some kids running up and down the hallway. Let's go to Jaipur. And here's a baby. Look, look at all the monkeys. Look at all the monkeys. Oh my gosh. 
Someone has just come in, asked if we have two seats, and then given us these two packets. I'm not exactly sure what they are. What is it? This packet contains two bed sheets and one disposable napkin. Please return after use. Wow, that's pretty good. These are our bed sheets. Oh, we're picking up speed right now. Oh. Get there quickly. Okay. I think this is the disposable. Part. And then we've got two sheets. They look clean ish, I would yeah, say. They look really clean. Yeah, yeah just a few. A few stains. There's no worries. We're not actually sleeping on this train, so I won't open the other one. I'll save it for someone who is sleeping on the train. Also, the best part always about going on a train is you just get to see different sides of the country. And I think on this route, we're going to see a little bit of the countryside. Yeah, we're going to see all sorts of views. I'm hoping for some cows, some goats, and just more of a different side of India. That's always the best part about traveling through India. There's just animals everywhere and we love animals. So <laughs> we feel like we're on safari all the time. So, so far we've actually been to four places here in India already. We're actually on our way to our fifth destination. So far our impressions of India have been a little bit all over the place. The Taj Mahal was absolutely incredible. It was one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. But on the other hand, our experience in Mathura wasn't as beautiful. I felt like we got a different impression of India and I think we picked the wrong place to celebrate Holi. So many of you told us in the comments that we should have not gone to that area and that it's actually not safe for women, which we didn't know. We had no idea. Even though we didn't really enjoy our Holi experience, hopefully we get to come back to a different side and experience Holi in a different place. So I bought these cookies earlier on the platform so I thought I might as well try them give you like a cookie impression mm. choco checkers <laughs> for the win pretty good so if you didn't watch our first video in India where I bartered for this cricket shirt because we're from South Africa we love cricket so I really wanted to get this and I paid a thousand rupees for this, which many of you said I actually paid too much. I should have paid between like 300 and 700. So I've learned a lot that I actually need to barter and get better at bartering. So today is the first day that I actually get to wear it. And I'm so glad as we're traveling through India, I get to wear my cricket shirt. Also, look at these shoes. They are so pink from Holi. The color is definitely not going to come out of these. We tried to soak them and scrub them, but I think they're pink. They're holy shoes now. Now we definitely have memories from holy. Some parts of our bodies are still pink. Like my shoulder is a bit pink and a few like spots on my head and Devon's head as well. We definitely have a few things to remember India by. <laughs> at the station for a few minutes to drop some people off and I assume to pick some more people up and now we're cruising again I figured out how to open the door so there we go this is awesome I'm sure when the train's going full speed I'm not gonna be able to do this but for now this is pretty awesome this is an awesome experience to be able to hang out Everybody does this. My mom's, our mom's gonna absolutely hate this. 
but this is what to do. Welcome to India. So at least they have these handrails over here. But this is incredible. <laughs> this is something that we so many people do when they came to India and now that we get to experience it, it's just unreal. I'm losing my mind that you get to do this. That was completely crazy. Wow, that is a definite bucket list ticked. We've had a really, really interesting and good time here in India. It's already halfway through our trip. And I must say the start of our trip when we were in New Delhi was really, really fun and interesting. We got a really good glimpse of what India is all about, even though a lot of you told us that we went to the old part of Delhi. And that doesn't mean that that is a good representation of India. And we totally agree. We think that we need to see way more places in India to give you a proper opinion or a proper impression of what we think. But so far, so good. We've heard many, many good things about Jaipur. So if you want to give us any recommendations, please don't forget to leave them in the comments. We have just arrived. So after about two hours of traveling, we've got to Jaipur, which I'm so excited to see a new city. And just from our short drive in on the train, it looks a little bit bigger and more developed than where we just came from in Ranthambore. So I'm excited to go out and explore the city. But right now we're gonna have to try and get a tuk-tuk or a taxi from here to our hotel. Uh, I'm not sure where to go. And you say 250? I said to cook 150, madam. I will take you straight to your place. I know that your place. Give me a chance, I will do my best. How much? 200. Okay, that's the best price. But he said 150. 150. Auto 150. Auto 150. Auto Yeah. No, no. Taxi. Air condition taxi 200 rupees. Wow. Yeah, he says 200. What's a what's a better price? 120 auto. 120. Auto. Okay. <laughs> what else? What else we got? That's it. Okay. 200. Yeah. Okay. So better. Thank you. We are going to end this video off right now. We are getting a taxi to our hotel. Let's see what Jaipur has to offer. So we've started off today at a place called Hawa Mahal, which is one of the big icons here in Jaipur. And it's known as the Palace of Winds because you can see there are 953 tiny little windows which allow the winds to pass through the palace because it stays cool on the inside. It's a pink city. So as he said, Jaipur is known as the pink city and you can see all around us there are the pink buildings and it's really beautiful to see. So many people have come out here to take pictures. So we're going to go out and explore and see more of what Jaipur has to offer. Nice? How are Mahal? It's good? What's your name? Romy. Nice to meet you. Nice uh, Dev. Dev. Nice. Are you from Jaipur? Yeah. Okay, it's your hometown. This is a selfie stick. Selfie stick. 
Okay. His hometown is Selfie State. Nice to meet you. He's a good guy. Uh, nope. No, thank you. Nice drum, but I'm okay. Thank you. No, thank you. What is your name? Mohammed. Mohammed. Nice to meet you. Have a good day. After just being here for a minute or two, we're surrounded by energy and activity. Already got some friends. We got some friends, and I love it. I'm literally about to show you the Instagram versus the reality of Hawa Mahal. Everybody has come super dressed up, they look amazing. We're literally surrounded by crowds and crowds of people lining up to take photos of this beautiful iconic monument. So this is actually our fifth city here in India already. We've been to Delhi, Mathura, Agra and Ranthambore. And now we get to see a completely different side. I can see here in Rajasthan is a little bit different and Jaipur especially. You can see all the buildings around. Hello, no thank you. All the buildings around are like this pink color and I love that the city has a theme. I mean, I can't help but feel that this place is absolutely beautiful, but we are still surrounded by all the chaos. And you're probably wondering why this wall is so important and so significant here in Jaipur. It was actually built by a king so that the ladies could look out and see the daily life happening, whether there was a wedding or a procession or something like that. They could look out, but still not be seen by the rest of the world. And if I were living in India, I'd probably want to stay here too. <laughs> You know what's amazing in India is everywhere you go there is just energy and sounds like all kinds of sounds everywhere you go people are just like entertaining you you never know what you're <laughs> gonna expect I love it I can totally see why this is such an iconic monument and why everybody's lining up to take some photos it kind of reminds me of a crown or like a beehive because all the little windows look like they're shaped like a beehive. I think we need to get a better view of this temple from maybe a bit further away. We have just seen across the road there is a cafe that has like a rooftop that you can look at the palace. We're going to try and make our way across this road to the cafe. I think I see a little staircase. Okay? I'm getting there. I'm making it. Quick, quick, quick. I'm making it. Ah! Okay, let's go quick, let's go quick. There's quick, nobody quick quick quick, 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 quick. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful it looks from here. It's actually so mind blowing because nobody is standing on this side of the road. Everybody is standing right in front of it. You can't actually get a good view. Wow, it is beautiful. We talked about the energy that we've experienced since we arrived in Jaipur, but this street especially is very vibrant. On each side, they have all these little stalls selling shoes, clothes, pashminas, different foods and ice cream. So maybe we're going to have to take a walk up and down here and kind of see what's on offer. So I assume we need to go up these stairs because the viewpoint is up there. Okay, there's a lot of traffic up these stairs, so I have high hopes for this cafe. Oh my gosh, look at these stairs. It's like I'm going Whoa. into a literal closet. It's actually kind of scary. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Where are we off to right now? I don't know. Oh, this looks way worth it. This way to Windview Cafe. Oh, that's obviously where we need to go. Because this cafe is so popular, you have to pay a cover charge because so many people just come and take photos and then leave. So you have to pay your cover charge here and then you can take some beautiful photos and have a coffee. And the view is going to be amazing. And the view is we going can to be see it already. Fantastic. 200 rupees per person. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. We've made our way up to the rooftop cafe and it's really busy up here but the view is spectacular and not only can we see the palace but we can see beyond it and the view around it is absolutely stunning. I think we may have given you like a secret hack to come and see the Hawa Mahal from a secret spot so save this place and come and have a coffee here while you're in Jaipur. I have two cafe lattes. Sorry. Like... No power. No power. Ah, no power. No power. Oh, okay. There's currently a power cut. Oh, pasta, more place. Okay, we can have mocktails and pasta. Do you get a lot of power cuts? A lot. Every day. Apparently, they get a lot of power cuts here in Jaipur. And that's what we're experiencing right now. So hopefully it'll come back on. So from this rooftop, the view is absolutely stunning. We had a good drink here, but now we're going to make our way down to the street. One thousand, one thousand. Now, now I want. Yes. One picture. Yeah, yeah. You want to subscribe? Yeah, yeah. Where? 
South Africa? Yeah, in South Africa. Johannesburg. Johannesburg. Do you know? Uh, in oh, wow. Well. In India. 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 You're from Jaipur? Yeah, I'm from Jaipur. Okay. Is your hometown? Yes, it's oh, my nice. hometown. But I'm sometimes uh, Mediterranean. You're traveling too? Yeah. Okay. Where do you go? South America. Did you go to South Africa? Well, uh, hopefully. That's it. I hope so too. Yes, please come to our country. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank okay. you. Thank you. Nice you to meet you. Please Bye. subscribe. We are very friendly. Very friendly. I totally agree. Yes. Everyone talks to everyone. I like that. <laughs> you can literally chat to literally anyone on the street and they'll be kind of friendly to you. It's amazing. You are the YouTuber, right? Yes. Do you want to subscribe? I know. We're just getting subscribers. <laughs> Then after million, 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 million. Oh, I hope so. Well, I hope one day. I hope you are successful in YouTube. You from where? South Africa. From Durban? No. Cape Town? Johannesburg. You speak Afrikaans? Yes. Wow, you know? <laughs> he knows Afrikaans. <laughs> Can you speak Afrikaans? No, I don't speak, but I, I know that there. Yes. South Africa people Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet Thank you. you. Thank you. I think we should cross the road. <laughs> Never get used to this ever. <laughs> you think it gets like easier if you've been in India for like a week or two? No, it doesn't. They were kind of halfway. Oh dear. Go, 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 go. I think this area is definitely more accommodating to tourists. We've got loads of shops selling all sorts of clothes bangles, scarves like this, hats and flutes, anything that you can think of. I really want to try this kulfi ice cream that I've been hearing everyone talk about kulfi ice cream and there's an ice cream man right here. Namaste! Do you have a uh, kulfi? Kulfi? Yes. Can I have one? Oh, let's see what he's got in here. He's digging for them. Oh, it's so small. Oh, it's so cute. Is it good? It's good? Oh, wow. Thank you. Oh, look at this. Whoa. How much? 40. 40. I wonder if this is the, the correct price or is it a foreigner price? Thank you. Wow, I'm trying the Kulfi ice cream for the very, very first time. I've heard so many good things. Apparently, it's like the best ice cream you'll ever have. 40 rupees. Oh my gosh. It tastes like, a, like an Indian dessert. It's super tasty. It's very sweet. It definitely has some syrup and condensed milk. <laughs> My first coffee ice cream in India. So that ice cream was absolutely delicious, but now we're gonna go to a different part of the city and see another icon here in Jaipur. So you can see how crazy the traffic is. We wanted to get an Uber, but I don't think there's any way it could get here. So we're gonna try and barter and get a tuk-tuk or a taxi or something. We want to go to Amber Fort. Amber Fort. Amber Fort. Yes, uh, how much? 300 rupees. Huh? 300. 300, oh no, no, no. 100. Not 300. No, no, no. no. No, 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 it's 100. 120, okay? No, 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 100. 120. We want to go to Amber Fort. He either doesn't know or he doesn't want to go there. 120, okay? Okay, 120? Okay. We need to get better at bargaining. I think our, our bartering skills are not so good. He's a better salesman. He's a better salesman than we are at bargaining. Another day, another tip to the India. I love it. I absolutely love it. I feel like everyone in this city is so nice and there's so much fun to speak to. I really enjoyed like our first few moments here in Jaipur. The energy is completely different and I always love being in the Tuk Tuk because you really get to feel what it's like on the streets. It's actually really beautiful, this city. And you can see all the buildings are this pink color. Absolutely beautiful. We're at like the bottom of it now. But look what's behind us. No, no, no. no. To get to the top of the fort is about a 10 to 12 minute walk and 185 steps. To get all the way up there, it looks way more daunting than 85 steps. This guy's selling some coconut right here. 
So we've entered the fort. Look how beautiful it is. There's pigeons, there's cars. This is unbelievable. I feel like a lot of people travel just to see this and it's so worth it. There's all these winding footpaths going all the way up to the top. What did Dad do? Hello. No, thank you. Hello, Money. Hello, Money. Apparently, our name is Money. <laughs> The reason we've come here is because behind me it is absolutely beautiful and this is another icon here in Jaipur. It's actually 11 kilometers out of the city so that's why we had to take the tuk-tuk and one of the main appeals of this fort is it overlooks the Moata Lake which is absolutely beautiful so you can see all the way down into the city of Jaipur when we get to the top. It's actually crazy that there's a little lake here plus there's all these little staircases that go up these mountains. This is built right on this hill. You can actually see there's some goats on the hill. How old is it? Well, it was built in 967, so it's... The year 967? The year 967. It's, it's been here. It's over a thousand years old, it's old. It's, it's been, been here, here for a, a while. Time. <laughs> As we make our way up, people are selling us stuff, and everything's made out of these cobblestones, and I think it's just an incredible piece of history. So we've made our way up the 185 steps and there were people all the way and you can see we've now come to a big courtyard. Thousands of people have come up to this fort. We had no idea what an attraction this was. There's so many people here it's but amazing. I actually think we still have a few more steps to climb because it still keeps going. It's just so nice to see so many people are coming out with their families, taking photos. You can just see how old it is here. And there's so much history throughout India, but especially here in Jaipur. All around, there are different viewpoints. You can see off the wall into some of the valleys, and obviously you can see into the river and the moat as well. After we've spent some time at the fort, we're now gonna make our way back into the city, and we're gonna go and get some delicious local food. We've heard that the food here in Rajasthan is some of the best in the whole of India. So let's go and see what it's about. Look what this lady's got. Whoa, so many. Hello, hello, hello. Whoa. Just a few minutes ago, we were all the way up there on top of that hill at the Amber Fort, and we've come now back into the city center. So far, Jaipur has seriously impressed me. I'm really, really surprised by the city in the best way and we've had such a good day we've come to a rooftop restaurant now to have some food and we're definitely going to end the video here if you enjoyed this video please let us know in the comments give us a like don't forget to subscribe